All right, last week's video, we talked about a two-minute uh, tip for getting a good ground on round parts using flexible, bare, um, braided copper wire. And you can get a few loops on a round part and then clamp your ground clamp to that, get a good ground. Well, it made me think about, uh, made me think about MIG welding and how, it, how important getting a good ground is on MIG welding, when you're MIG welding. I've been harping on this a long time, but what happens is this, basically, you know, somebody clamps a ground clamp on the, on the table leg and it's hot rolled and it's barely getting the ground through the hot rolled mill scale and the top of the table's hot rolled mill scale and then they're laying the part on the top of the table welding that and it's picking up a ground off the top of the table not a great ground you lose your ground for a second the wire keeps coming out it don't care and so you, you think your, your machine needs to be adjusted and you go set in the machine and, and now you go back round and round chasing your tail and all it was was you didn't have a good enough ground so um, I, I thought about a little demo today, and what I did is I put some, uh, I put a, a piece of steel on the turntable with a stationary MIG torch so that I could adjust gradually the stick out up and down. And I know that my turntable, it, the ground on it is not perfect right now. It needs cleaning up. It's got a carbon spring-loaded carbon brush that rubs against the turntable shaft. So my turntable, like most turntables, has a spring-loaded carbon brush that rides on the shaft and. It's supposed to maintain a consistent ground, but you can tell from the video that it, it's kind of intermittent. It kind of loses it occasionally. So I'm, I'm going to flip this big plate of steel up here with the uh, fixed travel rate and torch uh, fixed distance that I can raise and lower it really gradually. And uh, we're going to notice some differences when we lose that ground intermittently uh, with a short stick out versus a long stick out. I've right, got a good short stick out going here, and it's just occasionally we get a little sputter. It's like something's wrong, the machine settings are pretty close. Good buzz, good bacon frying sound, but it, it, it is sputtering. So as we as we increase the stick out, that tends to just get worse. It just exaggerates it. Here we're getting a longer stick out now. little different view here going a different direction a good short stick out again not a perfect situation where you can tell we're losing that arc just intermittently but it's not terrible so gradually here we're going to increase the stick out length and watch it just get a little worse the more stick out you have the more you know it's just a little bit uh, less favorable arc characteristics and anything that goes wrong will go wrong worse So now I've got quite a long stick out, you know, close to three quarter inch, getting longer and longer, and eventually get some pretty good stutters here. All right, that's the turntable. Let's do it manually now, just doing it on the inside of this corner joint that was welded from the outside already. Keeping a good short stick out, it's punching in there pretty good, but now when I pull it back real far, it's going to stutter. Uh, I hope this video demonstrated the importance of a good ground and keeping your stick out reasonably short. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll visit WeldingTipsAndTricks.com because there's a pant load of welding tips there. Last year, 2010, I made a video every single week and posted it to YouTube and had several people ask me if I would make a DVD out of them because they had slow connections or even dial-up. So I did. That's over 50 uh, welding videos uh, on a two-set DVD. It took two dual-layer DVDs to get them all on there. If you click the link at the bottom of this YouTube video, you'll, you'll go to a page and you can learn more about them.